Um, I'm very concerned by what's happening here. Why? I think there's usually a ghost in here. Not that I remember. Oh, you know what? Let me get some energy. I don't remember God, that. Please, I don't please rem say the room reloaded. I don't remember that being the case, judging from your LP. I don't remember a ghost being in here. I thought there was. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, I think you're good, because usually... Yeah. The, okay. Thank God. That really concerned me, because there's usually a ghost that shows up and then kind of, like, dashes away. Maybe nope. that's only if the hallway itself reloads, though. That might be the case. Nope. Dang it. Anyway, these guys aren't too hard, just... Straight be good at tuck dodging. and roll. Tuck and roll. <laughs> You. Oh, shit. I can't see shit. Where even are they? Oh, right in my face. Yeah, just keep an eye on the radar and keep in constant motion. I fell. Get right in my face, please. I don't think I've ever died against the ghosts. It'd it's be embarrassing, always... therefore, if I did, but I'll try. I mean, I'm just saying that because, like, it's... Oh, my finger. After <laughs> after finally succeeding at the Sun Tower jump. What's wrong? Ah, uh, just I'm mashing the button so furiously my finger's getting really tired. Oh. But yeah, it's like after the adrenaline rush of actually making the Sun Tower jump and being like, okay, please, God, never make me do that again. It's right. like... If if you fuck up the ghost fight, then it's it's basically then the worst. Then you just have to it. yeah, do it all over again anyway, which is horrible. Fucking die, Jesus Christ! I mean, I'm not. I know I'm not supposed to be here, but come on, guys. It's too bad that these guys aren't like the guys in uh, uh, Metroid Prime Two, where after a while they'll just fuck off. Yeah. I miss those guys. Those guys were the best. I'm trying to think how many times I've successfully done the Sun Tower thing because it's way more than I'd care to admit. Like, you saw how freaking bad that was. Yeah. And I've there completed a 23% run, I think, three times because I I did it once. Oh, energy. Energy. No, I need that. I did it once, like, in my old house. Once in like the new house once in the LP and then there were at least two failed 22% runs where I got past the Sun Tower plus the one that I streamed so I've done it at least six times right wow how long did it take you each time each time uh the one on the stream that I got live um probably about an hour I mean, wow. the other ones I can't really say for sure. I want to say the one in the LP. Um, I mentioned afterwards how many times it was. I think it was like six or something. I got it relatively quickly. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things that is just... The, the first time is god-awful. Yeah. So there it fucking is. Damn. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, uh, if it only took you an hour to do, then I think it's safe to say that I was just particularly bad, but... Well, n I mean, it's also a matter of me being lucky and just having the muscle memory from it. Why are there two question marks here? Um... Like, what's in here? Hive Totem is the missile that you're no, supposed yeah, to I, get. I, I know that one, but what's in between them? Like, what is this thing? Uh, that's the elevator that leads down, leads down to Magmore, which is where you're actually going. Oh, okay. So then, what? Do I just literally turn right back around, drop down here, and go anyway? Yep. Oh, there's a third one, too. Cool. Oh, yeah. That was, um... The energy yeah, tank. energy tank, yeah. 
So yeah, I, al Wait, I always I enjoy this, this part where it's right like... Now? I thought this one was later in the game. No, you can get it. Um, oh. You can get the energy tank. You can't uh, proceed much further than that. I mean, you can glitch up the spider ball track, but um, then you'll get stopped by a wave beam door. Ah. I love that glitchy spider ball track. That's the best. Yeah, this is always a funky part of the game where it's like you you finally get this part done. All you want to do is just save and you have to come back this way and jump down that stupid tower that caused you all the grief in the first place. Yeah. I hear what sounds like a Chozo ghost. Oh, they won't show up in here. They're just they're there to be like menacing. Uh, well, back down the rabbit hole again. Boom. Yep. No, no, no. I don't even care. I'm not fighting you guys. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, that is the first major hurdle that has been passed. Yay. And one of the worst ones. Yeah, well, I know that there are worse things to come. Not necessarily. I mean, it all just depends that... It depends on, like, what you're personally good at. The other parts that are terrible, um, for 23% are... 22. Right? Well, I'm, I'm saying, like, for 23 specifically. Oh, okay. um, the other The other worst parts are the scan dash off of the frozen Metroid. Um, Which I still have to do. The Omega Pirate fight. And then... I never, I don't remember having that much trouble with Meta Ridley, but Meta Ridley and Metroid Prime are both kind of ugh. Yeah. Um, but those are just for low energy purposes, not because they're difficult tricks. Right. Um, as far as difficult tricks go, basically just getting through phase on mines the second half in general is kind of bullshit, which includes the scan dash off the Metroid. Um, that's... Really the only major thing I can think of, actually. So that's just the stuff that 22 adds, which is Plasma Beam without Spider, or Plasma Beam without Boost and Spider, uh, Life Grove, and as stupid as it is, Vent Shaft really is a major hurdle. Like, that's usually where I get stuck. I don't remember what about Vent Shaft would be terrible. It's, it's just a half pipe that you have to get up without the boost ball, and there's... A couple different ways you can do it, but neither of them are very reliable, and I hate doing both of them. God damn it. And everything falls to shit. One of them is basically a triple bomb jump up a slope, um, which has to be done in an incredibly precise way. The Sounds other like one fun. is maintaining a lock on an enemy through a closed door and dash jumping blindly while jumping backwards. That sounds horrible. What is that? <laughs> it's it, it's not fun. And I had that's the that's the method I actually got to work once from what I remember. I actually did get that and proceeded through the game a bit further only to get stopped by Geothermal Core again. Yeah. Uh, geothermal Core will do that. So there's an artifact in here. Yeah, there is. Probably one of the easiest ones to get. Yeah, probably the easiest one to get. Well, aside from the one the game just gives you. Huh. Without using my missiles on you, I don't really know what the best way is to kill you. Well, your only other option is rapid fire, so just do that. And down he goes. So yeah, it should be two missiles on that. I like how this is the one thing in the game that re randomly requires two missiles. Just to make sure you didn't get lucky about it. It's a little bit weird, yeah. Most people think that it requires a super missile, but luckily it does not. 
If it did, that would uh, add another two items to your collection. Yeah. Wait, two? Yeah, charge bay man super missile. Oh, right, yeah. Damn it. Unless you could, like, go out of bounds and get it that way, which you probably can. I know you can go Actually, out of bounds in this room. I'm not sure how that would work if you could, like, levitate up through the middle of the level or something. I don't know. Going out of bounds is weird. I haven't messed with it too much. I've dicked around with it just for the amusement factor, but never for anything useful. There was actually a really long period of time when uh, it was not considered to be useful for anything. Oh. Like, it well, was an changed. interesting novelty, <laughs> but uh, anyone who basically spent time trying to find rooms that you can get out of bounds was considered to be, like, wasting their time and could better put their efforts towards other stuff. But I guess when they figured out that it was uh, used for skipping space jump, then that kind of yep, that changed fixed that things. a bit. I forget where my ultimate goal is. Uh, you're just passing through to get to Fendrana. Okay, and that's left from here, I think? Yeah. Just There is another through. artifact you can get if you want to be bought. Oh, actually. Yeah, you might as well, because uh, the way you're normally, you norm yeah, the way you would normally get it requires boost ball, so you're going to have to do the stupid way anyway. Okay. Well, uh, let's go ahead and do that then, as soon as I figure out how to get back up from where I just fell. And it's not in this room, it's in, like, the next one. Oh, is that the, uh, like, the research core area? Yeah, where you gotta yeah, jump up one. the wall. Yeah. I remember trying to do that one and having a very hard time with it, but I'm a bit more practiced now, so we'll see. Um... You might also be able to just do a very well-placed, like, L-lock jump from the top of the level, but the ghetto jump is not that difficult from what I remember. Well-placed L-lock jump with a twist. L-locks... L-lock... No, was it like L-lock spring space jump with a twist? <laughs> it's like the longest stupid name. That's the best name. With a lemon twist. I lost three HP, so what? All right, so let's okay. take out the take out the uh, guns. Gripping gameplay. Yep, Silver Surfer, except without dodging things. Silver server, but without the hard bullshit. Okay. Now. So yeah, you basically want to just go up the uh, the corner of that darker rock there, and okay. I just do it while facing forward. Like I've never had a problem with doing that. Uh, yeah, I I've learned that ghetto jumps actually don't depend on what direction you're facing really. So yeah, I just, I face the rock itself like that and then just kind of like smoosh up the corner of it. Yeah. Like that. And then you want to face left from where you are right now. Like, we'll do a 180. Like, okay, go over to that like ledge over. Your gun is currently covering it. Like just, a, it's a, yeah, that little protrusion oh, right there. Okay. Just stand on that. And then you basically, up. Oh, you basically just want to get up this wall here, and okay. I usually do it backwards. I don't know if it matters, but it's just a ghetto jump. I don't know if there's... Okay. Well, that was easy. Hard. I remember you taking a really long time on that before. Yeah, um, there's a reason for that, and I think I know what it is. Thanks for telling me the exact same what? thing. You, you can turn that off. Oh, let's turn that off. Yeah, options and uh, uh, display, or no, visor hint system. Okay. Um, now. There's just a door uh, I up think, there. I think the reason that I had a really hard time with it before is A, I didn't fully understand how 
ghetto jumps worked. And B, you never told me before to go from here to over to that other ledge. I didn't do that I didn't. before. No. Oh. I thought I did. No. I, I never did that before. I was trying from the other spot. Fun times. I like how this is just chilling out here. Yeah. There's also a power bomb in this room. There is, uh, but I'm not going to be bothering with that. Indeed. Man, we're just collecting artifacts forward and backward. Indeed. It's uh, a quarter of them already. Yeah, roughly. Well, it's three out of twelve, so it is exactly a quarter of them. Oh, I thought there were nine for some reason. No, I'm stuck on Metroid Prime 2. That's what it is. Yeah, just remember, in the 22% run, Damn. you're technically collecting 23 items because phase on suit doesn't count. Right. And out of those, 12 of them are the artifacts. Yeah. Alright, so here we are. And these have just come back. Great. No uh, you glad. probably want to just reload to the top of that cliff and just basically skip this whole section because you're trying to get to the little blue door. Oh, like, across the way? Yeah. Okay. You can probably just jump over to the center area and then drop down onto it. Yeah, I think it's actually just down here. Yep. Damn it. Mulligan. I had a grudge against that box. What, that particular one, or the one I was just on? No, because you I said you did, because you just randomly laid a bomb by it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, yeah, and here's the part of the game where if you don't have three missiles, then you're forced to backtrack. So... Glad I have five, then. Do. Yeah. I have been pretty good about being conservative with those, all things considered, given that they're my solution to literally everything. Literally everything. Literally. Shoots a missile at a spinner, activates life grove. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, this is where the three missiles come in. Oh yeah, I remember now. And two. And three. And the game took a shit. It has to render all the snow. I don't know. Yeah, particle effects actually do take up a lot of rendering, which I have never understood. They're usually 2D anyway. Every snowflake must be replaced with, like... John, to just a, a random silly Jontron face. Yeah, the oh my favorite face. Oh. Uh, if you want the save station, it's underneath that archway here. Oh, over there? No, or right, right here. Anyway, um... Normally, this is where I would get Boost Ball followed by Wave Beam. Since you're right. not getting Boost Ball, you can just get Wave Beam. Okay. That sounds like a plan. You remember where that is? Uh, that way? Yep. Just have to do some platforming. You want to basically go back to where the save station was. There's like a way to climb up. Oh, was there? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, if you kill one of these, it'll probably drop a missile, so you would get your money's worth. Okay, maybe not. Hold on, let's try again. Money's worth. Check. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm like, why is that the, door yeah, locked? The, I forgot the bit that. under here that I am not going to bother to activate at the moment. And here we have these pan-dimensional bats. Uh, which... By the way, you don't need to be doing what you're doing right now. I am actually curious if this works. I've never tried that. What, just jumping across here? Yeah. Is that a thing that can you can do? Maybe. I mean, There's I don't switch. know. Doing it the L lock jump method, it appears. Well, if I did it better, yeah, I probably could. 
But you know what? Screw that. It's unnecessary. Also... That's like the one missile expansion that I always remember where it is because it's in a stupid spot. But what about that one that's just under a bridge? Or the one that's just not on the map? <laughs> the one that doesn't exist! <laughs> Those are my favorite. Oh. oh, right, I'm actually supposed to be going here. Indeed. How the heck? What? I don't remember coming up here. I know that sounds stupid, but I, I actually do not remember coming up here. Okay, then. I thought I still had to do some platforming. Oh my god, dude, calm down. Uh, why? Weed. Oh god, why? And here we have fun times with assholes. Mm-hmm. Or not. I'm gonna get to fight bye. a whole bunch of these soon. Bye. I'm not dealing with you right now. You know what? These guys are better than their replacements in uh, in Metroid Prime 2. What, what are you, like which ones? The the ice beasts at the bottom. Oh, the Grunchlers, yeah. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, it is. There are puzzles a, a to be had. Over here. I think it's this one. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. This statue is flawless. Hey guys, I got an idea. Let's put the power mechanism for our door behind a statue of one of our elders. Yeah. That must be destroyed in order to be used. Yeah, sounds about right. And let's also design the door to just look like a like Chinese folding fan. Or one of those things in Tomb Raider that those guys, you know, float around and it just blocks bullets for some reason. Things are so dumb. They are dumb. Which is why it's even better that you can just uh you put use your gun away and then them. they put it away and then yeah. Well, there's that, but I meant uh you can just straight up grenade them and not deal with oh. them. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, gotta go down here. I'm trying to think what the best part of that playthrough was. The playthrough that nobody else got to see. No. Um. It was uh. I I'm still I still enjoyed the chains quite a bit. The chains were pretty good, but um, what was it that we discovered did actually more damage than the chains toward the end of the game? I don't. Was remember. it that just that one random Cheerios bug? Oh yeah, the Cheerios bug. Yeah, when we were climbing the pyramid, he just. <laughs> The Cheerios bug, what has more damage than the chains? <laughs> and not a single person understands I just, what I love this term about. that no one is going to understand. <laughs> except for maybe Tim. Uh, there are boxes in the corners. I would use them sparingly. Like, you are at somewhat low health, but, uh, Try to just break them one at a time if you need to. Okay, now's a good time to use one. Now's a good time. There's one. You guys are very much in my way. <laughs> Blows up Cheerios bug with exploding arrow. Scorpion just emerges from the smoke. <laughs> That scorpion had class. <laughs> he knew when to make an appearance. Let's not forget that was also the level that just had the boulder that you could move with no indication that you could No do indication so. whatsoever. And I like how we actually went into that little nook and uh, we said, or at least I said, why is this nook here? What, yeah. like, why did they detail this? And then we passed anyway, by Anyway, do you have any, do you know how to fight this thing? I've, I've since forgotten. 
Um, basically, you want to just keep shooting that until it does it. Um, either it's a uh, attack like that or the ice breath attack. Uh, when it's panting, you can hit it in the head with a missile to damage it. Um, it will take more than five missiles to kill, though. So um, what you probably want to end up doing is just laying bombs on it. Okay. Like you still want to make it do the attack first to get in the stunned animation, but then you want to just lay bombs. Yeah. And you have to be very careful because you do take contact damage from it, so like you want to try to like not be close enough to get hit. Right, and which is going to be kind of precise, but I'll try. Well, that kind of worked. And he immediately fires again. Didn't even know he could do that. No, but he apparently can. What is this stun lock I've got on him? I don't know. Back off, back off, back off. Oh god, two energy. And it's siphoning your attacks. And you're dead. That's okay. Now suddenly I'm not dead. Magic. Magic. No, oh, like what the hell is that? Go fuck yourself. But Mario's in it. We'll go with that one. Oh, come on now. You might be able to damage it when it's not in the animation anyway, but just for the sake of dodging, it makes more sense to do it this way. So, yeah. yeah, just for shots and coggles. Okay. Damn it. And again. I never really, uh... And again. Fully appreciated how stupid this thing looks. Like, it has a very, uh like, typical sci-fi alien beast look to it with, like, the multiple eyes and the fangs and stuff, but it also has a bulb orb body. It does. Weird animals that should be quadrupeds but aren't are always kind of funky. I should not be dying this much to this fucking thing. Eh, it is a semi-annoying thing. I've never had too much trouble with it, but I mean, it's also not like a pushover. Damn it. And I'm having the worst time getting acclimated to what his hitbox is supposed to be. Because I can't tell. I would take the time to get some energy now. Okay. So I break all the boxes. Not what I meant to do, but... That's okay. fine. You didn't even max out anyway. Here, I'll make a second state. If you Camera. want to use your five missiles, like, you can do that. Eh, that's probably a better idea. Damn it. I usually shoot the side of the HUD. I don't know if that even registered five separate times. I don't think it did. I never, when I use the missiles, I never, I don't actually keep the lock on. I just manually aim at the side of its head. Okay. Like you can probably hit the front of its head too, but I always do the side. I don't know why. It's worked for me and I've never changed the habit. get tired. Push button, receive bacon. This looks so stupid when I run up to it and I just kind of fire a missile at it and it recoils absolutely none at all. And then it will it'll probably get a critical existence failure pretty soon here. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to that. It's not as bad as the phase on Elite, which just falls over dead, like, about as fast as freaking Peter Griffin falls. 
That's one of the best things about the animation in Family Guy, though. Everything happens fucking instantly and abruptly. Go fuck yourself. Destroy everything. More missiles. More missiles. I also get the distinct feeling that this shouldn't be taking this long. No, it's about how long it should be taking. Oh, and the thing is, you're not really too. you're not really doing anything wrong. Oh yeah, there we go. Critical existence failure. <laughs> And does it drop a shitload of energy? Well, it dropped one max energy, which is all you needed. Yeah, that's all you need. Is good. Gotta scan it. Nope. <laughs> scan it most of the way, but not completely. It's good enough for government work. It's better than Brooklyn. This is better than Brooklyn. Mario! 